Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So today I wanted to go ahead and start working on some of these buildings. Now I did come up with an idea after I was finished recording for the day. And I know that the blacksmiths won't be able to be moved over to the new location. But that doesn't mean we can't put the stone um, building over somewhere over here and turn this into a complex for that. So there is that opportunity uh, to turn it into like a stone working place. Now I'm not sure if we have any other particular things that uh, could be turned in here. Um, just looking at the recipes and stuff. We have the textile that doesn't have any uh, particular um, flammability or anything like that. There's also the easel. Uh, we got woodworking and stuff like that, or the bows, bowsman, that's over here. So we don't really need that, but there is a woodworking station that we still need to set up as well. That we could do something with that. Uh, let's see here, what else is there? Easel. We still need an infirmary as well, so I need to kind of plan that out, because I want it somewhere localized over by our our gate because we're probably going to want to make sure that when the settlers get hurt and stuff they can be immediately transported close to the hospital and stuff like that so I don't want it too far away but something to keep in mind where the medic hospital slash place will be so we'll probably put it somewhere in this corner uh, roughly and that will that will give us um, a pretty good advantage over it I think and yeah so I think what I'm gonna turn do is tear down that old building here and we'll see if we can't move a couple of these people that are sleeping in these buildings and we'll try building something on this area um, this pathway isn't exactly straight either so what I'm gonna do is rather than have it kind of like cross like this I'm gonna move this whole path more centralized over here and I think that should make it a little bit nicer. And then people don't have to like constantly go like this and stuff. So, but um, yeah, so something like a complex that can be built here would be probably good. I don't want to expand, like spend too much uh, resources on it. So I'm not sure how much stone bricks, but we might do just an exterior wall and Maybe you replace the windows and stuff later, but uh, we want something that's bigger than the textile thing.
Alright guys, so I am kind of sorting out our uh, cooks a little bit more, so I wanted to get uh, some of these people a little bit more situated for actually doing the um, cooking and stuff. So basically what I have here is I have our cooks. Uh, these are our day cooks, and they'll be doing day shift. And then we have Andrew, which is this guy up here, which should be handling the... Um, the cooking during the night so what we'll do is we'll turn off animal husbandry for this guy we'll have to find somebody else for that but that's okay um i'm also going to disable hunting because that's at night as well so we won't get them to do that maybe have it as like a second priority or something like that we can he's, he's got benefits for that particular job thing but I don't want to like have them go out and start hunting too much. I usually like to control what they hunt, so we'll um, leave it unchecked for now. Uh, constructing, um, that could be important, so we'll probably leave that. For gardening and stuff, uh, we can... Let's see, if we could do... I don't know, for constructing... We have a few constructors, I think. Though, yeah, we have two primary ones, so... Uh, during the night, uh, I think most of our construction people are during the night actually, so might have to sort that out as well, but we'll have um, him as an additional, maybe gardening as a primary. We actually have a lot of gardeners, so I'm not sure about that either. Harvesting, uh, he's level 28, we'll probably disable that. Cutting plants, um, what else does he offer? We could always have uh, urgent hauling as a more skilled. He he doesn't mind doing that, so we can do that maybe. And constructing, possibly growing as a second thing. So we'll do like three like that or something like that. Maybe crafting as second or growing third. Constructing two, urgent haul. Um, stewarding is pretty high as well. You know what, let's just re redo this whole uh, thing for him. And we'll see if we can't get him a little bit more better for cooking during the night. These two uh, cooks down here are pretty good, but we'll sort those out as well. And we'll see if we can't organize that a little bit more. Uh, so the jobs are a little bit more balanced. And we get people doing certain things at least so we'll see if we can't do that um, quickly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause and I'm going to just disable all this and then we'll take it from there so we'll just copy the uh
Alright guys, so we I have I had to relog because for some reason settlers and dogs weren't seeing these as um things that they could transport for some reason. I'm not sure what was going on with them. I tried uh undoing the hull and redoing it and they were just leaving it there and I didn't want it to get damaged when we destroyed the structure, so what I ended up doing was I just relogged, and it seemed to fix the issue. So we can start tearing down this building. It's taken a little bit longer than I was hoping to tear down these complexes. Uh, this building we're going to leave for now. Um, not going to really need to tear down that at the moment. So we can just leave that. I think it might be... Oh, it, it... No, it is occupied. Okay. Or is it? It isn't. Nobody's actually in this room by the looks of it. So we can actually um, pack some of this stuff up, I guess. So we'll remove these. And we don't need to worry about like demolishing that building at the moment, but we can clear up that space, I think, and uh, work on that later. Uh, donkeys, I wouldn't mind moving over. See, that's the thing that I'm having an issue with is I, I know that I need a medical place. And I know that I'm going to need a place to move the donkeys, so it's a little bit easier to get to. But uh, we don't have that much space over here. So hopefully when we free up some of this, we can put our medical bay or something in here. We might be able to fill up the medical bay here, donkeys over here or something. But just in general plan that I have. Uh, but once we get this stuff moved out, then we'll be able to... Uh, start removing that. So I think the dog's just hauling the last one. So we can start removing the windows, getting these taken down, the second floor, and then we'll be able to start um, hopefully planning how we're going to be building this new structure. Now what I'm going to be putting here is probably the textile place. And if we can fit in the stone cutting place as well then we'll do that so two buildings basically in this area uh, for workshops I'm not sure how big I'm gonna want it or the design or anything like that so that will kinda of be up to um, how I'm gonna be building the structure and stuff like that and where I'm gonna be building everything but I'm trying to keep the pathway here as centered as possible so um, basically it's like a main line to the kitchen. So that's like the general thing that I'm trying to do is keep this as a main avenue kind of thing. So, and then this will hopefully go to our uh, gate. So it'll be like a direct line this way and then direct line this way. <laughs> Right, so I decided to go with kind of like a square structure uh, for the room here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put uh, stairs going up to the second floor. 
and we haven't got the second floor planned yet, but uh, what will be up here is a couple of rooms for settlers. So there will be, I think, about two rooms. That should do fine for what we're going for. And there will be, it will be kind of divided on half sides, so it will be about the same size as that, I think. And then that will kind of give it a unique feeling to the structure itself. Now, when we go up to the second floor, I'm thinking about having the rooms a little bit smaller. So we'll probably bring a wall along here and we'll put roofs over on these parts. I think that would look better than just like a huge square structure. And then basically from this point right over here, this whole entire area will be the the room for the settler which is pretty big uh i think it might be bigger than what we have now oh yeah i think it will be a lot bigger so yeah it should work um with the ones that we have up here they're a lot smaller and we should be able to get away with having the structures that we have like for the room for rooms above so I'm not too worried about that. Um, again, one's going to be textile and the other one's going to be stone cutting. And uh, then what we can do is we can have like rooms above just for an additional place. Now I wasn't going to use stone, but I figured to keep it with the village's aesthetics and stuff like that that we've been doing, I think it would be best to just use stone. So all our newer buildings kind of have a little bit of stone on them. So. But uh, outside of that, we'll get that project done uh, next episode, at least the first floor. And then we'll start working on the second floor and the roof uh, over on the back here. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys next episode. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.